Hey guys, it's Zach here with Aldeck, and today we just got in our Tyson One Board Embedded Development Kits, so we're going to do an unboxing and find out what's inside. Alright, so here we have the box. Uh, it says Aldeck on the front. Flip it over. It gives you some contact information down there. But uh, what we really want is on the inside of the box, so let's take a, take a look inside here. Alright, so first look. Looks like we got our uh, Tyson board right here, and our uh, power cable and adapters. Looks like we got those. Some uh, documentation and a Linux SD card. We got that, and uh, some Riviera Pro software. All right, so let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look. So we got right here our. Uh, power cable and adapters. So let's take a look at this. All right, so we got a pretty nice cable here with uh, this is where all your adapters will, you can slide those in right here and then this is the port that you'll plug right into the uh, Tyson board. Uh, looks like we have an American adapter. We've got a uh, European adapter. We've got uh, the UK adapter. Let's see, it looks like we've got another American adapter. And oh, we've got one in there. We've got a uh, this one. Oh, Australian adapter. All right, so we've got quite a few adapters, so you should have definitely no problem being able to uh, plug in your Tyson board and boot it up right away. All right, and uh, next we've got our, uh, looks like our documentation here. So this, uh, this USB stick right here should uh, come with some documentation, maybe uh, let you know about some of the technical specs of the uh, Tyson board. Uh, maybe some quick start guides, you know, anything to get you going right away. And then we also have our uh, Linux boot micro SD card, which you can uh, use pretty much right on a, a you know, reception of the item. And uh, you can boot up your Tyson board with Linux. And then we also right here have our Riviera Pro uh, software. And so with the Riviera Pro software, you can uh, start all your designs, run the, the simulation, do the debugging, uh, it's a pretty advanced verification platform, so you can um, you can use it to uh, start your designs, and then you can implement them then on the the Tyson One board. All right, and finally, we do have our Tyson board. So here's the Tyson. Uh, first look, it's pretty nice and compact. It's nice to have something kind of uh, small form uh, to interface with. Uh, we've got right over here uh, a power port. Um, we've got our, we've got an onboard switch like right here. We've got a, a SIM card connector, which is kind of a nice little feature. Um, we've got uh, one, two, three uh, onboard switches or buttons, you know, push buttons right here. We've got uh, a CMOS camera connector. You can use like a Raspberry Pi camera connector for that. Uh, touchscreen and LCD connectors. We've got our standard HDMI, uh, two USB 3.0 ports. Uh, we have some hard switches right here. Um, the, I think there's uh, eight hard switches. We have audio in and out. Um, we have an Ethernet connector. We have two uh, USB 2.0 connectors. And then on the bottom of the board, you can see that we have right here, this is our micro SD card slot. So you can uh, use your Linux boot uh, via that uh, connector. And then we also have the mini PCI Express uh, port as well down here. Let's see. Oh, and don't want to forget, we do have... Uh, about eight LED um, LEDs on board for the user to interface with. Um, of course, the main part of the board is the Zinc Z Z7030 chip, which has the the, pro the ARM processor as well as uh, the FPGA programmable logic. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, and it makes it pretty comprehensive and uh, for all types of applications. And it also has uh, two 256 megabyte uh, DDR3 RAMs, so about 512 total. And uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, we also have uh, the JTAG, um, JTAG programmable uh, connector right there. So you got your Tyson board, 
you got your Riviera Pro, you got your documentation, you have your Linux, and you have your power cable and adapters. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.